Hello there, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of four books, host of two PBS specials. Here today to give you another tip on how to help you create the life you want. How to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do. Today I'm going to revisit an older quote of mine that's always been a favorite. And it was brought to my attention by an artist friend of mine, Rebecca Cook. She did this wonderful drawing of this quote that says, Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal or blaming our misery on the one who started the fire. <laughs> I love that because I think it speaks to the experience of what it's like to hold on to anger. It is kind of miserable. It is kind of harmful. And yet, when we blame that misery on the person who started the fire, we're still left holding the hot coal. It's still kind of burning in our hands, in our soul. Now, some people say, oh, okay, so it's not their fault, it's my fault, right? No, I'm not talking about who's to blame here. I'm talking about when we have an emotion, when we have an experience or a feeling, what do we do with it? Do we hold on to it and try to use it as motivation to change? Or do we take it as good information? that something does need to change, but that anger can't be the energy for change. Now again, I want to be very clear, I'm not saying we have no right to be angry or that anger so serves no purpose in our life. Sometimes in a fight or flight situation, anger is exactly what we want to engage. And again, as a valuable signal, anger can be very helpful. There's a book by Harriet Lerner called The Dance of Anger. She talks about how we get into these dances with people. They would take a step, we'd take a step. And sometimes anger can be a really good motivator to begin to get out of that dance. That's great. Now, here's what I suggest we do. We use some other energy to make the changes in our life. Because when we're angry, frustrated, resentful, annoyed, whatever, we're coming from that lower 20% of the brain. And while that can be a valuable signal, we don't want to use it as a place to make changes because that's not where we make our best decisions. So what I think we want to do is stop blaming our negative experiences on other people. Stop blaming our anger on the person who started the fire because that still has us holding the anger and burning ourselves as a result. They're not even in the room anymore, maybe not even in our life anymore. They're not experiencing it we are. Instead, what I think we want to do is use that anger as a valuable signal and say, okay, good information. If I were doing that again, how might I do it differently? How might I do it differently if I were doing it in a way that defined who I am? Do we really want to define ourselves as being able to be made to feel angry by other people? Do we really want to give them that kind of power? Most people would say no. So how about we define ourselves as someone who has the power to begin to influence how we feel without needing to blame and or change something around us. Another question, would we encourage someone we love to hold on to that anger? I think when we begin, begin to look at who we are and how we are and what we would recommend to someone we love, we're coming from a very different part of the brain. We're coming from that upper 80% of the brain, what I call the top of the mind. So if you found yourself kind of holding on to anger in the past and recognizing that all it's doing is burning you, I'm going to encourage you to think about this in a different way. Take the quote to heart and begin to make a change based not on the anger, based not on blame, based not on that other person, but based on the quality of life you want to create, based on what you would recommend to someone you love. I hope you're finding these videos valuable. I'm having a wonderful time bringing them to you. If you do, and you're on YouTube or Facebook, hit the like button, please. You know, all these folks really recommend videos to others based on that. If you want me to come and do a presentation to your organization about how to let go of anger, kind of bring more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do, that's what I do. So feel free to go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in, and I would love to talk with you. In the meantime, here is to you, bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.